Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to the very first QA video in this channel. So recently I have posted in the community section that you can ask if you have any question. And I have got a lot of questions. So I have selected 10 questions using the FCFS that is first come first serve method. So let's see what are those questions. So the first question is from Tejas Joshi and the question is how to plan the migration of entire project from Java to Kotlin. So you don't do it my friend. You should not migrate your entire existing project from Java to Kotlin because it will take a lot of time. You just start writing new modules of your project to Kotlin and migrate bit by bit slowly. Because you know if you will migrate your whole project from Java to Kotlin it will take a lot of time. So you can do it only when you have people sitting and doing nothing in your team. So if you have some useless resource that you can assign for this task you can migrate your entire project. But if you have some time constraints, migrate slowly, write new modules with Kotlin because you know Java and Kotlin are completely interoperable. So you do not need to migrate your entire project. The next question is uh, from Gaurav Bhomek and he says as a software developer today companies want their employees to handle projects too. Sometimes they just tell them about the concept and ask them to work on the app. An app is not only making designs and start coding, it requires a full planning. So my question is whenever you get an app project requirement, how do you plan it to execute from idea phase to product phase? Uh, this is very interesting question and at the same time it is very difficult to answer but I will try my best. So in any project pre-planning is very important. But the sad reality is that things will hardly go as planned. But we should plan. So before starting any project, the first thing that we need to do is we should have a clear idea about what we are going to build. And to confirm your idea, to finalize your idea, you need to sit with your team members and discuss. Discuss every point, discuss every feature. And after all these discussions, you all should have a clear picture about what you are going to build in your brain. So it will take a lot of time to discuss each and everything. So discuss a lot, you know, discussing gives more ideas and you get a clear picture about your project that what you're going to build. So after two, three days of discussion, you will have a clear idea. So note everything down, note down all the points, all the features or whatever you are going to do note everything down. So once you have a clear idea that what you need to build and all the features that are required to build in your project, you need to start sketching your application. So make a rough sketch, define all the screens, all the use cases and again discuss all the things that you have designed. So draw use cases, draw all the screens and the flow chart and all the other stuffs that will define what is your application and will define all the use cases. So by the end of this phase, you should have a clear idea about all the use cases, features and all the screens of your application. This phase will also take a lot of time. So you need to discuss all the screens, all the features, all the use cases and all the other stuffs about your application. And you also need to keep thinking about the feasibility that is it possible to build or not. And after this phase, you can move to the third phase that is designing the UI UX of the application. Now here in this phase, you should create the complete prototype of your application. And until unless you are not satisfied with the prototype that you are building, don't start coding. So this is the last step. After this, we usually start coding and we start making the application. So you can also follow the software development life cycle and some SDLC methods, but this is what we usually do. 
now the next question is for experienced android developers how much comparative problem is important for interview if yes then what are good questions or problems uh, i think you want to say competitive and you know competitive coding is important for cracking interviews and i don't have any good questions with me just google it and you will get a lot of platforms for example hacker earth codesef to practice competitive coding the next question is hello sir how can possible encrypt request and response data post get in retrofit yeah you can do it by adding an interceptor so you can add an interceptor in your retrofit builder and with the help of that interceptor you can encrypt your request and i cannot explain all the steps here but i will try to include this feature in my coming login tutorial so stay tuned for that the next question is i have been doing android development for last 5 6 months but i feel like i am not progressing what should i do uh i want to ask you why you are feeling like you are not progressing or how you define progress 5 6 months are not a very long duration so just keep yourself on the track and do your work honestly and keep learning keep working and you will get progress for sure now the next question is from raghav agarwal and he says hi bilal i am downloading pdf files from firebase via download manager please suggest a method by which i can store them in my phone's internal storage because right now they are getting stored in apps package folder inside the android folder which is not accessible to phone storage i am using directory downloads right now please help me with this i am stuck at it from a long time yeah recently the saving method in shared storage has changed completely but you can still use the old method of storing files in your external or shared storage you just need to request legacy storage in your applications manifest file and you can use the old method i will drop a link of the new method documentation from official android developer website and you can follow that to update the method of storing files in your storage now the next question is from jagadish developer and he says please do token based authentication in mvvm retrofit so i am already doing it the rest api part of the tutorial is already published you can check it out and i will soon publish the android part of the same tutorial uh, another question is from aman gupta and he says i lost my job because company does not have any new project and when i going in and when i going interview in new companies they first asked have you experienced in kotlin and i said i have in hand experience in java so his questions are how much time it will take to learn kotlin uh to be honest one day is enough to migrate to kotlin because you just need to learn the syntax and everything else is like java only so learning the syntax is just one day task but you will get some difficulties writing in kotlin so you will get fluent once you start writing in kotlin migrating for migrating one day is enough but to get fluent with kotlin you need some time and this fluency will come with experience only so start writing in kotlin and you will learn it it, it it is very easy no problem at all and what approach i have to use for learn to code uh if you are asking about learning kotlin then just start writing your projects in kotlin and you are good to go you won't face any problem i think because that's how i learned and if you are asking about coding in general then the best way to learn coding actually application development is to make projects 
so take some popular applications and try to clone it and this is the best way to learn how to build application how to become a problem solver and logical again this will come with experience so make as many projects as you can solve as many problems as you can so whenever you create an application you will surely face some new challenges to finish that application and this is how you learn how to solve problems so you will get new problems when you will build applications and when you will hustle to solve that new problems that you are getting you will learn and this is only how you can improve your problem solving skills next question is from raju adapa and he says i already have sent an email to you sir i am looking for an internship my dream is to become an app developer like you please guide me <laughs> why you want to be like me be better than me my friend i am nothing so just keep working and you will become better developer than me and anyone else and if you are looking for an internship you can find it on websites like linkedin and some job portals so find so so just start searching and you will get your internship and if i will have some opportunity for you i will contact you for sure now the next question and the last question is from vishal kumar and he says how to upload a large size video or file on server and i cannot answer this question like i cannot show you code and i cannot teach you here that how you can upload a file but for uploading file first i want to know that where you want to upload the file is it google cloud storage or amazon s3 where you want to upload every platform has its own method of uploading files so you need to go through the documentations and that is all for this video friends this is bilal khan now signing off bye bye